All right, guys, we want to check to see, this is the hourly chart, S&P 500, before I get ahead of myself here. Look at the E-minis, December contracts. I often trade the MES, which would be the micros, okay? This is an hourly chart, okay? This is um, Sunday night, okay? It's about, I don't know, 6.30, what time we got here? Let me check. It is a little bit after six o'clock. So the futures market's been open for a little more than an hour, okay? So this is Sunday night candlestick right there, the first hour of the day, five o'clock to six o'clock, okay? Obviously, if you're in different time zones, you adjust accordingly, okay? Now, so let's look back here for a second. Let me show you something. I talked about this in a video I think I put out um, might have been Friday, or I guess I guess it was yesterday. Okay, got so much going on, I can't remember what the video is. But look at this divergence right here, guys. This is the this divergence shows up on the hourly chart, both in the Big Daddy as well as the SMI. And I talked about this, but I just want to cover it real quick in this video. I'm going to keep this video really short today. From here to here, down. Okay. So, really important to pay attention to details. This candlestick right here is is where it started. And yeah, we had a couple down candlesticks, but overall, from here to here, price went up, correct? Everybody can see that. Okay, from this close of this candlestick to this close, price was up. But but the indicator says down. Okay, the SMI says down. And we have to be very exacting. Okay, we don't have to, no playing around, no, no looseness when it, lo, nothing. We don't want to be loose when we're trading. We've got to be keep things very exact. So on this candlestick, what we're going to do is as the hour closes, we're going to take a good hard look at what's going on. And we know that over a period of, of one, two, three, four, five, six hour period, we had a divergence. Okay? Yeah, that's very useful information. That tells us something something's coming up. That the chances are very high that something's going to happen, okay? So you can see that divergence happened from, from that high to that high. Okay, it happened on this one as well, from here to here, right? Now look at the MACD on the hour. Remember, this is hourly. It's still showing everything's going up. Okay. So this is really good to compare the MACD compared the big Mac Daddy to the big daddy forecast. Okay, or the SMI, both is nice. Okay, they're going down. Price on the, on the average is going up. MACD's going up. Good, we got a divergence. That's nice. Especially a divergence over this, over a period of like six hours. That's really nice. Okay. All right. So where are we at right now? Right, the market just opened up. Okay. Ignore this red line. That's on the daily, okay? Do we have a divergence going on? N not on the, the SMI, we don't. It's basically flatlined. There's nothing there. Okay. We've got obviously the, the Big Daddy is a very reactive type of indicator, right? It's fast moving, reactive. There are other indicators that do this. So, like I said before in yesterday's video, go do your homework. Find those indicators that are fast reacting. Okay. They're there. You got you to find them. Okay, I'm not going to do all the homework for you. You go get it. So this this hour that we're currently in, it's not over yet. This this candlestick is still doing its business. Okay, so we can't say this is a divergence because <laughs> it's not. Price went down, the indicator came down. Okay, that's not a divergence. They're moving in they're moving in synchronization or they're moving in in um, in unison, right? They're moving together. So we're we're going to check to see because I suspected on. Friday, because we got this very elevated number going on here with the Big Daddy. It's it's fairly elevated, okay? And I want to see if at any point we get a divergence, okay, throughout tonight. I'll be looking at the wheat futures, too, for those that didn't, didn't see my video on that. Look in the description of this video. And I'll, I'll put the description, the uh, link in there for the the, the wheat futures because I think there's a trade coming up on that too. Okay, 
I'll even put in yesterday's video of, of that I reviewed the S&P 500. But basically, you're getting the same thing in this video, so you don't, you don't need to really watch it unless you want to, okay? So going back to this this over here, we had this candlestick here. We had two fairly decent down candlesticks, and then price rebounded pretty hard, okay? That was intraday, but it doesn't really matter when it happens, okay? So I see that price came down. And we're going to see if the, like this candlestick and maybe the next candlestick are red. We'll just see what happens. Okay. And maybe we get like, uh, I don't know, we might get something like down here. And so we get, uh, I don't, we might get that all the way down like that. Okay. And then we might get, you know, same scenario, right? Or at least similar. Then we might get this, this runs its course, runs its course. It's going up, 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 but it doesn't quite get as high as this pre previous one. It doesn't get as peaky as, as the previous big daddy. And it'll probably show up on the SMI too. The SMI will kind of eventually, if this divergence happens, and I don't know if it will, but it'll come down like that, It'll, but it'll come back up and it won't go any higher. It won't go higher than, the, than, than this point right here. Okay. And so what'll, what you'll get is you get this divergence down like that. And down like that. Aha! But price will be up. It might even be higher. See how over here th this candlestick was higher than that one? So you might get a candlestick like that. They actually go to all-time new high overnight. Now, I'm not saying that's going to happen, but just, just drawing out a, a scenario here. If we get that, and we might even get that sometime tomorrow, just looking for that divergence, okay, guys? It's not because you have a bias for trading short. It's going to help you understand that for those that only want to trade long, SPY traders, whatever, you can just say, okay, time to sit on the sidelines and wait this out, right? And you wait for the MACD and everything else to give you the signals later on, like we got over here, okay? And eventually it broke above. And over here on the SMI, we, we stayed above the uh the the purple line or came back above the purple line the zero line and the blue line the quick line got above the vanilla the vanilla line above zero oh that's a great entry place so it'd be like right here you'd enter on this candlestick it's probably like nine o'clock in the morning yeah nine o'clock doesn't really matter it could happen at any time overnight doesn't matter boom you're in and you rolled that puppy all the way up that's like 12 or 14 points worth of Profit right there. It's huge profit. Okay. So we're just going to see what happens overnight here. You know, we might not get a divergence at all tonight. This thing might just, we just might see the indicators just pretty much follow price. Yeah, the price goes down, it comes up, it meanders around overnight, and then the morning things go up like they normally do. And that's great. No problem. Then we trade it. Right? See, that's that's what that's what you, you want to get. You want to get that if you don't get the divergence, okay, and, and and price declines don't always occur after a divergence. So you don't always get the warning. But if we don't get the divergence by tomorrow morning, then guess what? At 8 o'clock, the 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock hour, like this one right here, then there's pretty good confidence you can trade it long. No worries. Okay, that's useful information. That's what you want to be looking for. If you get the divergence, okay, pause, relax. For you long side only guys, who only trade SPY or whatever, and you you don't want to go short, or you can't go short because of account or other restrictions or things you got going on, or you're just a long side trader only. You know, I'm a bull, I'm a bear, whatever. I don't get into that stuff. I'm a human being. I trade both sides of the market, but whatever it is, then you can just chill out and wait till you get until this thing runs its course, and then you take advantage of when it starts making its way up, and the MACD gives you the signal you want, and you jump back in. Okay, and that might be like a whole day. Half day, three quarters day, whatever it is. Okay, because yes, you can get you can get down downward action, uh, you know, in an intraday even. You know, it isn't always always it isn't always just overnight. Okay, okay, so that's it, guys. I'm gonna just finish up the video. Just wanted to share that I'll be keeping an eye on this tonight as well as wheat to see if we get any divergences. If I detect a divergence, okay, especially you know. Anything around the 50-day moving average is always something I pay attention to. But we're well, sorry, 50-hour. But we're well above the 50-hour. 50, 50 I mean, like we're screaming, guys. Look at this amplitude. 
Okay, make no mistake, that's amplitude. That's a wave right there. That's absolutely a wave. Look at these amplitudes. They show up all over the place. Amplitude. Okay, do you you can go check out amplitude. Okay, it's in radio waves and it's in electronics and like um uh, the study of electricity. There's uh, amplitudes in lots of different things. Okay, lots of different disciplines. <coughs> Excuse me. So. This is why I'm keeping an eye on this because we, we have pretty elevated uh, Big Daddy forecast numbers and we have a pretty significant uh, amplitude going on. Okay? Pretty significant. All right, guys. That's it. Listen, if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, go ahead and subscribe. Click the thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to, uh, forget to click that little bell to be notified of all the videos as I put them out. Okay, guys and gals. Happy trading, everybody. We'll talk to you all real soon again next time.